Oh, it was at 70, but it just brought it down to 60, and then I raised it to try to put it back on 70, but it, it only stays at 67. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke Munchie. earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, hey, Turtle Dick. yeah just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry. I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Something. There's a game. No, it was this. I just bring it up to seventy-five instead. Yes. Okay. Anyways, um. Get well soon. Love, mom. Thanks, mom. Thank you for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you and confirm. Sincerely, David Munchie. 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 Uh, dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well we adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will- <laughs> at least. And you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin <laughs> to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peake. <laughs> uh, forgot to hit send. Does it matter? I already told him about it. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the phone. Just send it again. Yeah. You'll never Better know. Better late than never. Oh shit. Was not the button I wanted to click. Return to game. Spool. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Forgot. It's from the same people who did amnesia, so you gotta pull and shit. What's this? Nail clippers. This is. It's this. Right, I guess. And toothpaste. Put it in there. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? I understand your pain, turtle dick. Actually, uh, earlier today, I took my mom to her appointment. Summer's coming. And Hope this it's a good one. lady just stood in front of me and started hacking up a lung. And you can hear the phlegm in her throat. And she's just right there in front of me. She wasn't covering her mouth, so. Here's to hoping I don't get sick. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters of the blah 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 blah. Also, when I clicked to play this game, it said play Soma or play mod. I, I don't know what the mod entails. Can I thank you? Alright. Uh, fluid. Nothing but 
fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Where the fuck do I keep my fluid? That's a cop. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. End of messages. Oh, I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email off. He must have caught up by now. Uh, oh, that is so cute. Look at you, mister. To Simon Jarrett. Make fucking Thunderbolt 7. Toronto. <laughs> oh god. Alright. With, with that. With this. Oh, and the file. Massive recoil. John Hughes, a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who keeps prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go roll, for it's time to go to go with together against the triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. I don't wanna, thank you. Does this game spook? Yes, it does. And we can get to the spooks if I can figure out where the hell my liquid's at. Oh, fucking massive recoil. Where, oh where? There it is. Here it is. Wait, what's this first? <laughs> Instead of seeing downtown, I saw his dong town. <laughs> Dongtown accident kills young woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Florida Street and Spadino Road. Fuck. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other day, the other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained de devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Sam Simon Jarrett, that's me. Survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Thank you, lady, for causing my pain. I was like, you don't know how to open a bottle? I shouldn't feels talk. feels like milk, but the I, taste. I, it's like I have an out issue penny. opening up bottles. What this? What that? Uh, being Ashley. Why do I feel like <laughs> Rapid, that's Nicole and Doug when they get older. I was say, why do I feel like I've seen them before? <laughs> that's Doug and Nicole when they get older. <laughs> Dr. Aaron Peak. You saw how excited I got just like climbing my hands. For more. Yellow. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Give me my keys. Let's do this. Nothing works. He looks like a bum, I know. Jesse. Hey Simon, I got your email. 
Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? How the fuck does she get on board? Here. He's coming in full time. Oh, Working the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know. The hand. Dying thing. <laughs> dying Future thing? You're the worst wait. support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you Bye. later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Somehow, well. Go find me in a golden booth. All a big setup. St. Patrick. Oh man, things are gonna get spoopy in a minute. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Munchie? Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Does have su subways? What? Does what have subways? Whoa, lag. Uh, with this. From David. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposedly pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send someone over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. We're locked out. Jersey? Uh, yes. Yes, actually, we do. You have to access it through downtown. Where it takes you exactly, I have no idea. I've never been on the subway here. <laughs> uh found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could regrant us permission to use the lab. Jesus Christ. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. God damn it, I keep clicking escape. Oh yeah, I think it's the store, yeah. At Eve's the beginning. None of this. Trial and error. Uh, put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has amazing trans form. I was like, trans says Munchi. What? The brain has amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself. Explains Paul Berger. God, that's too much to read. Munchie and Berg. East. Oh. Get, get here. Get in the... Get in... In the computer. Fuck it. Leave that there. We don't need it. We don't need it. How am I... Where am I standing on? Two, five, zero, one. I believe that is the right one. Two five zero one. Two five zero one. Two five zero one. So much such a good game. I never got the chance to beat it, but I do like it. I like so. I don't even think I was that far in the game just yet. say if someone's specific like if it was another brain in progress why is there a fucking syringe there eh. hello Simon. oh hi didn't hear you come in simon jarrett right dr munchie well it's uh, just mr munchie but i'm working on it <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. 
Is this part of your thesis work? It's like, yeah. bro, it's you're a not study a doctor, I'm doing with my colleague Paul me. Berg. Sorry. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. Uh -huh. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Well, I should hope so, otherwise this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> you know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. It must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. I don't know me. why I'd, well, I'd talk to people. We probably talk can't too restore much. your brain completely. So what's wrong with But we this should guy? be able to My make those X months uh, turn into years. He got into a decades car accident. Even. If you take He's care of yourself and don't do brain. anything too crazy, uh, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. He met this guy talking about that they can do this shit where they can have the brain repair itself. Yada yada yada. I think that's my brain. So, but in the process of us doing this, everything goes horribly wrong. Please, have a seat. Shut the fuck up, I'm explaining the story. So everything gets really bad and I like wake up in an alternate dimension. Where everything is just shit. get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? No. Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. No. Born 1988, July 16th. No. Right. Flat Neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Squeeze. Yes. <laughs> that irks me off. Like I know they're they're NPCs, but I get annoyed when I'm like trying to explain something, and then the NPC is just talking over me. I'm like, hey, wow, I'm talking. Thank what you. Happened? Hello. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. I was like, can I get up? I forgot. I I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. This is kind of stressing me out. this place? How did I get here? Blood, blood everywhere. Fuck that shit. I would have sat my ass back down, put that thing over my head, and been like, I'll wait. I ain't no rush. I'll wait. Just do a whole bunch of. Oh, 
was gonna say I probably drew a whole bunch of attention to myself. And that sound startled me. <laughs> so kinda like the ones in Alien Isolation. Which I gotta finish that game too. by Frictional Games. The same people who did Amnesia. Oh, yes. Mm, yes, that's tasty. I do? What did I do? What's going on? Okay. I'm calm. I am sick calm. Hi, Brawly White. I, I actually, I, I really like Soma. I played it before. I just haven't finished it. being obnoxiously loud. Gotta remember everything. God remember everything. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, yeah. Wait, are we talking about the same thing? Are you guys talking about the same thing? Turn off my fucking air because I left it so that it's not too cold in here, so it turns off and just uh, turns on every now and again. But for some reason, right now, it wants to keep being extra loud, and I can't hear shit of what's going on. Oh, it's 
working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Stop with the creepy music. It happened. Whatever. Yeah, just keep click fucking kicking shit. Damn it. I'm fine with confined spaces. Just don't like the ocean. over here or if it was back there somewhere. Like, I like, uh, like, I, I like being in the pool. I guess my other fear of big bodies of water is if, like, the water's murky and I can't see what's going on. Like, that scares the bejesus out of me. why I would get lost is because I would not pay attention. I was so like spoofed by everything I would not pay attention to what I was being told so they're like, go to Lambda and I'm like, I'm gonna get out of here <laughs> and I passed Lambda like five times <laughs> 